Okay, so for this demo, I will be going over how to do underglaze painting, whether you choose to just do underglaze painting or you choose to do the sgraffito technique or you choose to do the Mishima technique, which there will all be separate demo videos. For these, you'll have to do underglaze painting. So to start out, you'll need your nature inspired element drawing. For this, I'm using this sea themed drawing so I'll be using shells as the demo. Um, you'll also need a pencil, a piece of tracing paper, a cup of water, um, your underglazes that you've chosen, and a selection of paintbrushes. I'm using four different ones, um, just varying sizes so that you can cover large areas or paint details and you'll also need a sponge to wipe away any mistakes. So before you start painting with your underglazes, your mug has to be fully constructed with a handle and it has to be leather hard. If it's not leather hard, it will become too moist once you put the underglazes on and the clay will start to warp when you're working. So make sure it's leather hard. Then your first step is going to be to paint the background color on the outside of your mug. So for this background, I'm going to be using blue. And for every thing that you paint onto the surface of your mug, you have to use at least three layers of underglaze. Okay, so now you can see that I have painted my three coats of underglaze all the way around the entire mug, not on the inside. Um, in between each layer, it is important that you wait anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to let the whole layer dry. So you'll know when the layer is dry when the surface of the underglaze looks matte and it's no longer shiny, it doesn't have a sheen on it. So until the surface is matte, don't paint another layer. The purpose of painting three layers, you may need more, um, is so that the color is very opaque and it's you can't see the clay coming through the paint lines. Additionally, when you're painting, make sure that your brush isn't leaving bumps on the surface of the um, mug because you will see those bumps if they stay there. So make sure you paint a really flat surface onto your mug. So once you're all finished doing the painting of the background, you are going to Use your traced image and you can either trace or draw your, your nature inspired mug with tracing paper. Decide where you want to place the imagery on your mug and then place the imagery onto the mug so the drawing is facing out. Okay, so I am going to, you can do it one of two ways. You can do a rubbing, but Keep in mind that the image will be backwards, so if you rub this onto here, it will transfer, but you'll have to make really thick lines. So what I'm going to do is hold the image over where I want it on the mug. Roughly there is good. And I'm just going to gently, using my pencil, go over those lines. And that will make a mark into the mug so that I know exactly where to paint. Doing it this way will leave little indents. So if you're not happy with that, you can do the transfer method. So 
So now you can faintly see the seashell outline. So what I'm going to do is begin painting the seashell and I have various different colors. I've gotten white and I've also gotten red and gold. And I also used blue for the background. So now what I'm going to do is begin painting the seashell. Okay, so as you can see, now I have this completed seashell, and that is it for the underglaze painting. If you wanted to add more detail, you could, but for the first layer, I added just a layer of white. That made it so that any layers on top of that would cover a lot more easily than if I just painted right onto the blue. So I would suggest if you're using a darker color, or even any color, it's probably easiest to start with just a layer of white so that any color you add on top of that will be nice and rich. The second layer that I added was that yellow goldish color. And then after that, I added in on the edges, I added the red and I, I also mixed a little bit of the gold and the red together to get kind of an orange color. And then after I added the red in, I added the white and then the black to kind of finish it off. But if you wanted to, you could add in more detail and shadow like this. It all depends on how much detail you want in your painted image. So that kind of looks like that top part of the shell is layering over the bottom. Um, be sure that when you are working with your underglazes, they are like a cream consistency. You don't want them to be too much thicker or too much thinner than that because they won't cover very well. And then when you're finished, make sure that you place your mug on a board and keep it damp. Make sure that when you're painting each color layer, you're using three layers. So every time you add a new color, use three layers and that will make sure that it covers really well. And that is pretty much it for the underglaze painting demo.